Wheat is a key staple food and a basic ingredient of many dishes worldwide. The global production was 750 million tons in 2016, so quite a lot. At the same time, about a fourth of all wheat is contaminated with molds and the majority thereof contaminated with toxic metabolites, so-called mycotoxins. To avoid health issues, contaminated grains need to be sorted out, resulting in food waste. Within this project, we are investigating several approaches to reduce mycotoxin contents in entire wheat kernels in an interdisciplinary team with experts from biocatalysis, from food biotechnology, from food chemistry and food technology. As food biotechnologists, we focus on mycotoxins reduction by microorganisms. Starting from our culture collection, that harbors a broad variety of microbes originating from natural fermentations, we will select candidates with detoxifying potential that will then be evaluated for direct application on the pre-treated kernels. In the biocatalysis group, we use enzymes to catalyze chemical reactions. Within this project, we will identify mycotoxin degrading enzymes, produce them in E. coli, purify them and test their activity. Then we will pass them on to the other groups for further analytics and application on grains. In the food chemistry group, we are using advanced analytical techniques to monitor and quantify selected mycotoxins in the wheat samples. Based on the results, we provide the other groups with important information about the degradation process. From technological side, we are testing selected pre-processing, such as, for example, scarification, peeling and purling, or pulsed electric fields, to increase permeability of the surface near layers. As a result, active agents can act throughout the kernel. In a nutshell, we aim at reducing mycotoxin content in wheat in order to ensure safe consumption of grain-based products and at the same time avoid food waste.